Hey guys, I'm back with, um, well, not really back with anything. This is just, uh, part 3C of my event editing tutorial. And this part's not gonna be long at all. I was just gonna say that that's pretty much your very first custom event, and great job if you did that. That was great, because that's really all there really is to doing event editing. I mean, you just find the bytes, you know what they are, you can do pretty much anything, because I'm pretty sure I've covered most of the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the command bytes. So, you know, you know pretty much a good bit. So you have the ability to already right now to go ahead and build your own custom events. I hope you have the confidence in yourself that you know what you're doing. You can read these hex bytes and you're not like intimidated to death whenever you see this, you know. You don't want to like put a blip in the matrix, you know, you're you're not intimidated by it. You can read all this. Like if you if you can read this as saying display dialog thirteen forty ten begin execute for character ten, three bytes long, eight C, C C which is saying face up and Q, I mean, if you can read all that, guys, congratulations, you have learned a new language, and you are well on your way to making your very own custom events. But, um, we're not done yet, and just stay tuned for part four, which is not going to be split into any alphabetical order or anything, but great job, guys. I mean, you deserve it. And thanks for watching, of course, because, I mean, you guys put up with all my pauses and stops and all that, and all my messed up, so yeah, thanks for that, and yeah, I'm new to, I'm new to this video stuff, by the way. But yeah, thanks, guys, and see ya. Well, yeah.